Hi, this is Travis on behalf of Expert Village uh, talking to you today about vacuums and vacuuming and all of the things that go along with that. And now that we've talked and, uh, about the types of vacuums and the bags and no bags and um, on and on, what we want to do is actually show you when you actually turn on the vacuum how you want to adjust a particular um, upright vacuum to fit the carpet that you're vacuuming. Whether you're vacuuming a shag pile carpet that's a longer carpet, a medium grade carpet, or whether it's a commercial grade carpet which is um, really, really flat and thin. Um, there's a couple of things that you want to uh, look for and do when adjusting your, your upright. With this particular machine, what you're going to do is when you turn it on, when you turn the machine on, of course it's going to be loud so I'll explain it first. Uh, <clears throat> when you turn the machine on, what we want to do is most uprights have an adjusting uh, an adjusting feature. This particular one, you depress it and it goes down and it makes contact with the floor. You press behind it and it raises that head. So again, what we want to do is we want to depress this as many times until we hear the actual pitch of the motor change and then we want to go one more beyond that pitch change and that'll be about the uh, best proficiency uh, setting for that vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the vacuum on. I'm going to drop it down until we hear the pitch of the motor change and then we're going to drop it down one more and you'll see what I mean once I turn it on and you can hear that change. Ready? Here we go. And then one more and then we can start vacuuming. So you heard the pitch of the motor change, uh, and then I went one more, and then if you'll notice, before I shut it off, you want to raise that head back up as, to its highest setting, because what that's going to do is it's going to prolong the life of the motor. Um, if I was to shut it off while the head was in contact with the carpet at its lowest setting, um, it just wears unnecessarily on the motor, and over a period of years and years, those little things add up and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear on the motor and uh, cut down on the, uh, the life of the motor.